Who's hosting this show? Hi, this is Amy Lewis. This is Beers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're back for a really cool episode of Engineers Unplugged. We've got Mike and Edgar, and Mike had some questions about OpenStack. So we're going to do a little bit of an OpenStack 101 from a Cisco perspective. So Mike, you want to take it away? Sure. Yeah, uh, so my question is, how will OpenStack be, be integrated into the Cisco product portfolio, and how will that change what products we sell today? I'll hand it over to Edgar. Thank you, Mike. I think it's a wonderful question. It's a great question. So one of the advantages in OpenStack, it has different components. Uh, the pillars of these components are storage, compute, and networking. So in OpenStack at Cisco, we focus mostly on the compute and the networking, and we're moving forward to storage. So let me let me drive that explanation with a couple of uh, drawing here. So let me start with the with the bottom part of the rack. And uh, so basically, you have your compute based on UCS, right? So. One of the things that OpenStack provides is uh, at the hypervisor layer, compatibility with different uh, hypervisors, ESXi, Hyper-B, and Linux on different flavors, RHEL, SUSE Enterprise, uh, Ubuntu, etc. So the project that actually is in charge of this is called Nova, which is the compute part. So basically what it's going to help you to have your VMs created. So now that your VMs are created based on this hypervisor, basically you need to find a way to wire them to have a connectivity. So you need to have a layer here, which is basically the part that is going to do the virtual switching. Well, okay. this is with products like Nexus 1KB. We'll provide the wiring between these two things. So you will wonder how it's going to be connected. So as well as we have a project covering the compute part, we have a project in OpenStack covering the networking part, and that is Neutron. So basically, you have the compute covered with UCS, the networking part covering with Nexus 1KB. And then you start stacking more and more computes until you go to the top of the rack. So when you have one more compute, basically you need to have connectivity all the way to the physical layer, which is the access layer. So we have the Nexus family here. It could be the 3K, 5K, either even even the 7k so now you need to have a way where a new vm connected here wants to be connected here you have covering this here again with nexus 1kb but now you need have to have some kind of protocol configuration when you are talking about two different computes connected to the same switch right, right? that is also covered by neutron and the way they cover it is by uh, a physical layer configuration so in Neutron, for the Cisco plugin, we have two drivers. One driver is the Nexus 1KB, and the second driver is the NXOS, which basically talks directly to the physical layer. So let's say that you decided to use VLAN's implementation. By default, out of the box, this is going to be VLAN tag 1, default VLAN but you want to create isolation between your tenants VMs and uh, based on VLAN. So what happening is, is the hypervisor, the NXOS is going to create the 2001 VLAN. That needs to be configured at the port. So there is no human intervention here. The plugin will do the, the tagging on the Nexus 1KB and it's going to do it on the Nexus as well. So there will be a Nexus uh, 2001 here. And because the other VM, it's also in a, in a different port, it will do the same tag here. So now you can guarantee communication at this layer. Now, in the future, we want to move to a different domain, layer three domain, right? So now you have a router.
And now we want to bring configuration. So now we're bringing in Neutron the concept of services, advanced services, we call it. So one of them is to start the layer tree. We can also have VPN. We can also have firewall. And some of these functionality can be embedded on the router itself. CSR right. provides that functionality. So now, the third configuration plugin will be for these services on the router. So what is going to happen is you can actually apply a firewall configuration that is going to run from one rack to another rack okay. to probably limit the communication between this VM and this VM even if they are in the same VLAN. Let's say you want to apply an ACL to say if this, this VM belongs to uh, a human resources entity and this one to finance, I don't want to have communication with them. Right. So you can either apply it to some policies at the, at the access layer or you can actually have enable a firewall route at the CSR. And Neutron will provide all that functionality. That's basically what all the Cisco products are fitting with OpenStack. Does that, uh, that relate to what I hear, service chaining? Is that what you described was at all? Was that service chaining of uh, layer three services and a flow? Is that what this accomplishes? That's a great question. So what about when you want to allocate multiple services, right? What is the connection? That That's wonderful. So the answer is yes. Uh, before actually inserting a service, we validate that that insertion is, uh, uh, has some uh, constraints with other servers. You may want to have a firewall here in the middle, and you may don't want to apply a specific firewall rule in the router if you already have a firewall here. That, that uh, uh, consecutive services is what is the services chaining. And the Neutron component will be ensured that every single dependency between service will be uh, solved before applying any specific rule that it could actually bring your, your system down. That's very helpful. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you both very much. There's one thing I didn't warn you about, about Engineers Unplugged, which is at the end, there's a unicorn challenge. And since you did all the drawing, I think, Mike, you should take on the unicorn challenge. So draw us a unicorn. <laughs> People want to see. <laughs> yeah, open, open stack unicorn. You can commentate. <laughs> Sound like a donkey. <laughs> Now it's a cactus. It's converting into a flower. You don't know what that is? Uh, 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 uh. There you are. There you are. Oh, oh. That's a unicorn. I got busted on the old unicorn. <laughs> this was awesome information. <laughs> Don't ever ask smart people on your show. That's my warning to everybody. Thank you so much. This is really great. We'll see you next time on Engineers Unplugged.